YouTube one shot here bringing you guys another Battlefield 2042 video and in today's video I wanted to give you guys my feedback based on the time played I had on the beta I played about 15 to 16 hours worth I played around with a lot of the guns and a lot of different play styles and I'm feeling like I have a pretty good indication of how this game is feeling for me but before I do that I just want to say thank you to everyone tuning into the channel if you are new here please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future content I'll be covering everything Battlefield 2042 and Call of Duty Vanguard this year so you won't want to miss out on that let's go ahead and jump right into it so I have this broken down into three different sections we'll start off with the pros or things that I liked about the game then we'll go to the cons things that I did not like about the game and then I'll wrap it up with just some minor fixes and adjustments that I think could be added to make the gameplay a better experience so first up on the pros list I have the new movement style and I know this is a touchy subject within the community but I definitely really am a fan of the new movement style it feels a lot like Apex Legends and I know they brought over a couple game developers from Apex Legends to help them with the movement style and you could definitely tell that battlefields in the past have definitely felt a little clunkier in my opinion and just slower movement style in general and I think this is definitely gonna help battlefield get on par with some of those faster moving games like Call of Duty Warzone like Apex Legends those fast responsive games that you feel like you have complete control over your character so this is definitely a good change in my opinion next up on my pros list I have the graphics I played the beta on the ps5 and I thought the graphics looked amazing now I did see some complaints within the community about people saying the graphics didn't look too hot now, I'm not sure if that was maybe on PC, maybe they had a lower end graphics card, but I can say that from the PS5 beta, I thought they looked good. I will take a lower resolution texture pack if it means the graphics run better. Overall, have a higher frame rate, it just looks good, but yeah, the graphics look great in my opinion. Third on my pros list is the gunplay. I thought the gunplay felt good, the guns felt responsive, kills felt rewarding, the attachments made a difference, and overall, the gunplay just felt good. There wasn't a whole lot of recoil, but then again, I don't think there should be a whole lot of recoil in a game that is meant for a 64 v 64 large scale conquest type game it's meant to have fun it's meant to be for that casual player so I really do like the feel of the gunplay this year next up on my list for pros is that the sniping feels amazing and I gotta say this game feels a lot like battlefield 4 sniping a game that I had a ton of fun sniping on and I know a lot of people did a lot of people were really waiting for that battlefield 4 sniping experience to come back within a battlefield game and sniping was fun on battlefield 1 in Battlefield 5 and you know Battlefield Hardline but this game is definitely feeling like Battlefield 4 sniping and I think a lot of people are going to enjoy that the kills feel rewarding the headshot multiplier sounds amazing and overall sniping is back so the last item I have on my pros list is actually going to be a pro and a con so we'll talk about this a little bit more when we get to the con section but I am a fan of being able to adjust your class how you like it so as everyone knows in previous battlefields you had the medic assault engineer support all that stuff and you were locked to that so if you were a medic you had to run the med kit you had to run the revive kit you had to run an SMG and that was it in this game you can do whatever you want so if I want to be a medic and have the med kit but I want to run a rocket launcher and I want to snipe you can do that like I said I am a huge fan of this change I think it's nice to be able to run whatever gun with whatever field upgrades you want but we will talk about this more and I'll expand on this in the con section so that's all I have on my compiled list of pros that I have from the beta experience obviously there were more things that I liked about the game but I want to keep this video relatively short I don't want to keep dragging this out so that's going to do it but let's move on to the cons first up on my cons list i have texture glitches frame drops uh there were instances where i had flashing lights and it almost looked like i was at a nightclub parachute glitch enemies parachutes would show up for you know 30 to 45 seconds after they had already landed and it was super easy to tell where they were at and teammates parachutes did this as well but overall there was just a lot of glitches and stuff that were happening within the game that i would like to see fixed before the game actually launches um but this is concerning to me knowing that that this is a two month old build of the game and these glitches and, and things are still appearing. So I would hopefully like to see a lot of this fix before launch because we don't want to go through another sloppy battlefield launch again. Second up on my list of improvements that need to be made, the spawns definitely need some work. There were several times where I would spawn on a point that my team had and rather than spawning me in like a building or maybe in like a side alleyway of the point, it would just spawn me smack dab in the middle and you had no chance to fire your gun at anybody. You'd spawn in rocket launch launchers, gunfire, all that stuff, and it was pretty much just an insta-death. So I would like to see some of the spawns tuned. I'm sure they're gathering data from the beta and, and they're going to make some changes for that. Next up on my list of things that I think need to be improved upon is the tornado and the weather. While I think these are cool features, it seems as though it was happening almost every single game for me, and I think this is something that needs to happen maybe every couple of hours. So whether the game would start with the tornado or we would start with good weather and end, it seems as though it was coming every single game. And I would like to maybe just 
play the map with nice clean weather, vibrant colors, sunshine, and not have to worry about all the rain and the clouds and all that because it definitely adds to that visibility issue. Next up, this item was both a pro and a con, so I did like how you could change your class to how you wanted. However, there were definitely some balancing issues with this. I'm sure a lot of you guys ran into people running the grappling hook and the rocket launcher, which is a no-brainer. Obviously, those are two great things to help you play Battlefield, but there were definitely a lack of medics and supply people within the beta, so I wasn't getting revived. I wasn't able to pick up ammo as much as I was in Battlefields in the past, so I think there needs to be some balancing or some incentives to play these medic and supply roles, whether that's giving you more XP for supplying people or giving you more XP for reviving and healing people, something needs to be done to give people more incentives to play these other play styles. And then last up on my list kind of tags along off of this, but the certain factions and the visibility of the characters is definitely a problem within the beta. With a lot of people running the same operators, you see a lot of the same character within the map, and it's really hard to distinguish between enemy and team players, so they need to add some type of color scheme or faction scheme that will easily allow you to identify enemy and team players because there were so many times when I would shoot at a team player and it's just frustrating because you're wasting ammo and not to mention you can't even pick ammo off the ground. So there definitely needs to be some kind of fix here to make things easier to see. And then wrapping things up here, just a few minor fixes I'd like to see. I would like to see the headshot distance included on your snipes. That was a great feature of Battlefield 4. It was awesome to see how long that snipe you got was and it made for great YouTube videos, great content, great top 10 so I'd like to see that come back. Also I'd like to see the attachments being able to be adjusted within the menu. I think it's cool that you can adjust on the fly but I would like to see that that typical create a class that we see in a lot of FPS shooter games where you can just adjust your class in the menu. And then lastly just I am a little concerned with the amount of bugs that we saw within the beta. This is supposedly a two month old build of the beta so you would have liked to see them kind of work out some of these issues while they were play testing it but nonetheless I'm just I'm just hoping that we can see some adjustments to these bugs before the game launches. I would hate to see another Battlefield come out where it takes almost, you know, a year for the game to get to in a complete state. So definitely would like to see these things changed. But that does it for my beta feedback. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Did you play the beta? What What are you thinking? How are we feeling about Battlefield 2042 this year? Like I said, I am pretty excited. This game feels great. It feels like Battlefield 4. There's definitely some things they need to work on, but overall, I think we are in a good position. Thanks everyone for watching. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new and I will see you guys in the next upload.